Today, we will be talking about the solar system and its biggest celestial bodies. The topics include an introduction, information about the celestial bodies, and some interesting facts for everybody's entertainment. The Sun, the center of our solar system, is the largest object in it. Oftentimes, the Sun is deemed an ordinary star because there are so many more stars in the universe that are quite similar in size and composition. At the core of the Sun, conditions are quite extreme. The temperature is 15.6 million Kelvin, and the pressure is 250 atmospheres, with a density at more than 150 times the density of water. The Sun derives its power from a process called nuclear fusion, where the hydrogen gas is converted to helium and some gamma rays. Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun in our system. It's also the smallest planet. Mercury has what is called an eccentric orbit, where its nearest distance to the Sun is 46 million kilometers, and at the farthest, it is 70 million. Because of this orbit, if there's an observer watching the Sun on the surface of Mercury, they could potentially see the Sun rise and set more than once in a single day. Mercury's rotation is three times in two of its own year. Venus is the second planet in the solar system. It is sometimes called Earth's sister planet because the two planets share similarities. They are both around the same size, have few craters, and roughly the same density and composition. Venus has an unusual rotation because it is slow, where 243 Earth days equals one day on Venus. The Earth, our home planet, is the third rock from the Sun. Even though we inhabit this planet, maps detailing the surface did not start appearing until the 20th century. The surface of the planet is very young, and the Earth itself is around 4.5 billion years old. The oldest fossils of living organisms are 3.9 billion years old, from when life on Earth was just beginning. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun. Mars has an elliptical orbit that has a huge influence on the climate. The surface area on Mars is equal to the land surface area on Earth, and the terrain is highly varied. This planet is thought to be dead since it is believed that the core inside the planet died many years ago. There is also no recent evidence of plate tectonics. However, there are clear signs of erosion that may have been caused by running water when the planet was still alive. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun and also the largest, making it the second largest celestial body in the solar system. Jupiter is a gas planet, which means that it does not have a solid surface the gases simply get denser with depth. Very little is known about the interior of Jupiter since nothing has survived in the raging atmosphere of the planet. Winds have, on Jupiter have been recorded up to 400 miles per hour. Saturn is the second largest planet and the sixth from our Sun. The rings of this planet are what makes it famous. Saturn's rings are not solid or are instead made of, of chunks of ice and debris thought to be from moons that traveled too close to the planet. These moons were ripped apart by Saturn's gravity and kept in orbit, which eventually formed the rings. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun. The celestial body was the first planet to be discovered in modern times, if you consider 1781 modern. It is larger in diameter than Neptune, but smaller in mass. Uranus is composed of ice and rock. It also has rings like Jupiter, and it has 13 in total. The planet has 15 known moons, and there are probably more that have yet to be discovered. Neptune is the eighth and final planet from the Sun, but it is not the last celestial body in the solar system. Pluto actually crosses the orbit of this planet every few years, making it the ninth major celestial body from the Sun. Neptune is made up of ice and rock as well, and is very similar to Uranus in color and composition. It has winds raging across the planet at around 2,000 kilometers per hour. Pluto used to be a planet in our solar system, but in 2006, it was downgraded to a dwarf planet. It was downgraded because it shares its orbits with other objects like asteroids and other dwarf planets. Discovered in 1930 by accident, Pluto is the ninth major celestial body, most of the time due to its eccentric orbit. Here is a visual of the major celestial bodies in their order in the solar system. The different sizes of the names represent the different sizes of the bodies. Here is another organization of the planets in their order. You have the Sun, 
Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Once again, here's another organization of the bodies from largest to smallest. The Sun, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Earth, Venus, Mars, Mercury, and Pluto.